AAA of Michigan projects that more people will travel during this year's Memorial Day weekend than any time since 2007. And while prices are down at the pumps, chances are you'll be filling up more often as the summer months approach. But who's looking out for you and your wallet? Well, tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie follows state inspectors as they check out the accuracy at the pump. There are about two dozen inspectors statewide checking out the pumps. The good news, about 95% of the time, they're finding that you're getting what you pay for. We've all thought about it as the digits on the pump panel climb. If the price is accurate, yes. Because I don't know how are we supposed to tell. That job falls to Chris Chamberlain. He's a weights and measures inspector with the State Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. We're looking for any of the visible leaks around the meters. Chamberlain and his fellow inspectors make random visits to the more than 4,700 gas stations throughout the state, making sure when you pull the trigger, the amount on the pump panel is the amount going into your tank. It starts with the settings inside the pump. The only way that they can can reset the pulses per gallon is to get into the calibration setting of this pump. Now, discovering a problem at this point could benefit the station owner as well. Because if their meters were were wearing to giving fuel away, that can you know could be a a, a big loss for the establishment. And Chamberlain runs a receipt just like a regular customer checking if the numbers match. And we're gonna double check and make sure that their balance, their total uh, correlates with the gallons to the unit price. Then comes the fill test. This is a calibrated five gallon test prover. Measuring to make sure five gallons in the panel is five gallons in the tank. The station in today's test passed inspection. Most do. The state began this testing program about 10 years ago. We started probably in the mid to low 80% compliance range. Now we've ramped all the way up to the 95% compliance range. But what about the 5% who aren't compliant? Are they costing you money at the pump? Well, chances are the answer is still no. And usually those involve hoses leaking, meters leaking, the automatic shaw valves not working properly. But less than 1% of that is when the meter isn't actually delivering correctly. And if that less than 1% knowingly rips you off, they could pay an even heftier price. If it was shown that the work was done intentionally, um, then we'd be looking at you know felony charges. Now, if you do have a question or a complaint about a particular gas station, we have the information to contact the state at woodtv.com. In Walker, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.